Hi guys, welcome back. This is a uh, custom lap steel I've been commissioned to build. Uh, eight string Jackson pickups. Basically it's a, an absolute tone monster because of some of the wiring options. I'll go through these in detail but uh, what I'm wanting to talk about today are these two little switches down here. Let me just zoom you in. So it's a fairly busy control panel this one. Uh, but what we're looking at here is a standard three-way selector switch, so you can have one or the other or both of the pickups. No surprise there, pretty standard. There's volume for pickup one, volume for pickup two, overall tone, uh, and then these two switches here correspond to the, uh, the two volume controls. So this little switch here is an on, on, on switch that allows me to choose how the pickup is served up to the rest of the circuit. So what I mean by that is we effectively have two single coil pickups here, uh, one with north polarity and one with south polarity, and the way a humbucker works is basically the signal goes in through one, out through the other, in series, uh, and that gives you a real powerful output, and it cancels the hum. But with this little switch, what we can do is we can choose to use it in series, or use the two in parallel, and that gives you effect very like uh, the second and fourth pickup position on a uh, Stratocaster, for instance. Uh, that will allow you then, as I say, to have hum cancelling, but it will sound like two single coil pickups. Or, in the middle position, you can have just one half of it, kind of like a coil tap, so basically just a single coil. I'll show you how that works. Okay, so let's do the rest of this in the computer. It's as easy as anything. We're gonna go into your search engine of choice, look for pickup color codes, and find out what color your north start, north finish, south finish, and south start wires are. There are loads of different uh, manufacturers out there of different pickup types, but the great majority have a standard color combination. So once you've figured out what color your wires are, we then need to figure out what type of on, on, on switch we've got. Now, there are two types. Both of them have the same kind of pinout, uh, but the difference is that in the middle position, type 1 connects top left to the middle, bottom right to the middle, and type 2 is the other way around. Now, I'm using a type 2 switch here. My observation is that more often than not, you will find that you actually do have a type 2 switch, uh, but it is worth just checking with the continuity checker to see which of these are connected or alternatively try wiring it up and if it doesn't work you've got the other type. Okay so to connect the pickup to the switch is pretty straightforward. We have north start in this case connected to the middle pole on the left hand side, north finish to the output, this red here is the hot out, uh, the black is connecting to ground, uh, south start starts on the black and south finish goes into this middle pole on the right hand side. Notice also that the top two poles are shorted together. Now you can just do that with a bit, a bit of wire. Um, I've used a staple before, part of a paper clip, the leg off a capacitor, whatever it's going to be, just short those, uh, solder something across the two of those. Now the reason that this works is that with these various different types of layout, we can arrange the pickups in such a way as to uh, send the signal either all the way around and then back out uh, or interrupt it in some way. So the first one, series, does exactly that. With the switch down, we're connecting the top pairs of legs here. We've shorted across the top, so what happens is the signal starts effectively at ground, goes up and into the south pole, out of the south finish there, back in to the switch, round the shorted part, out into the other um, uh, the other pickup, the other half of the pickup rather, and back out into the output. So we've got a loop there, uh, and this, as you can see, is going to have the uh, the pickup in series. That's fairly standard wiring for a humbucker pickup. Oftentimes, uh, one start is joined to the other finish. Um, but if you have four separated wires, that's how it works. So in through the earth, round, south start, south finish, back into the switch, round the switch, out into the north, north start, north finish comes back in to the output and then connects onto your volume pot. Now, 
The next option is with the switch up. This time we're joining these bottom two pairs of poles. And in this instance, you can see simultaneously the south start and the north start are being fed and simultaneously the north finish and the south finish are returning to the switch. So in this instance, both are operating as single coils at the same time, so in parallel. So this is going to give you an effect very similar uh, to the second or fourth position on a Strat where you've got two single coil pickups. Uh, the difference being that they're right next to each other and different polarity sits so hum cancelling. Then our other option is single coil. Now with the switch in the middle position, you'll see we're connecting the bottom two poles and the top right two. So what that does is it effectively isolates the south. So the signal is still coming in, trying to feed into the south, but it can't go anywhere because it goes basically through the south, comes out the other side, south finish, and then round the short, but it's got nowhere to go. So because there isn't a complete circuit, effectively that side of the humbucker is disabled. And that leaves us just with the north, which feeds exactly as with parallel, straight out and straight back. So just to recap, series, we're going in through the south, back to the switch, out through the north, back to the switch, parallel, we're going simultaneously south and north start and then returning simultaneously south and north finish and with the single coil effectively we are isolating the south so that it can't function leaving just the north able to uh, able to function and that's it it's as simple as that so just remember if it's not working the difference between the two types of switch is uh, this middle position and it's that that does the magic with this single coil. So uh, there you go. Hope that's been helpful. If it has, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. There'll be plenty more guitar content coming up in the near future. I've got a few things on the bench um, that I, uh, I think may be of interest. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy and I'll see you next time. Cheers.